Good evening. I'm Lester Holt in for Brian. This is going to be an anxious night for lots of Americans from damaging storm conditions in the lower Great Lakes on into the middle Mississippi Valley to a raging wildfire. In fact, several of them driving thousands from their homes in Colorado. In the Midwest, forecasters are watching radar images right now ahead of a dangerous system of thunderstorms expected to bring winds up to 75 miles per hour and powerful tornadoes with parts of Iowa, Illinois, Indiana and Ohio under the most severe threat. While out west, at least four separate wildfires are on the march, burning homes and forcing thousands to flee. Our teams are in place to cover it all. Let's start with the storm and Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel from under an ominous sky in Joliet, Illinois, southwest of Chicago. Mike. Good evening, Lester. 74 million Americans are in the path of this dangerous storm system. And for the first time in nine years, the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, put Chicago on a high risk this afternoon. Take a look. Not only tornadoes, but thunderstorm wind gusts at 80 miles an hour. And we may end up with a derecho, which is a huge damaging windstorm that travels over 240 miles. Note how far the storms travel overnight into Thursday morning. It is going to be a long and ugly night as these storms sweep across the Midwest, first here in Chicago, then Indianapolis, Detroit, and Cleveland. Trees and power lines will be blown down and power will be knocked out. And tomorrow, the danger heads east. New York City and Washington, south to Atlanta, in line for dangerous storms. There could be some tornadoes, but the biggest threat again tomorrow will be those powerful wind gusts. And if you don't get the wind, count on the rain. Watches are up all the way to Boston tomorrow. Two to three inches of rain could fall, pushing New York City to their wettest June on record and add more water to the hazards already at the U.S. Open Golf Tournament. Round one will try to be played outside of Philly on Thursday. Unlike last year's derecho, the big difference this time around, Lester, last year following the derecho, which knocked out power to millions, temperatures hit 100. It was a killer heat wave. This time around, temperatures behind the system will cool down, making it more comfortable for those who have lost their power and their air conditioning. Difficult Lester. night ahead and days ahead as well. Mike Seidel, thanks.